Hey everyone, today's video is about when he tells you you're annoying. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. Bakugo Katsuki Bakugo never liked calling you names. It may be because you were his partner, or because he loved you very, very much. He really didn't know. All he knew is that he just didn't like it. Today was different, though. He just felt it when he woke up. The sun wasn't as bright as it usually was. It was cloudy. The sky was even quite darker. It was colder than usual. Everything just didn't feel right. So, he woke up in a bad mood. Even though he slept the same amount of hours he usually does, he felt sleepy. Today wasn't a good day after all. Maybe if he saw you, he would feel better? No. He didn't want to see you at all. He was mad. He would rather stay away from you today. He just really didn't feel like seeing you at all. He knew if he saw you, he would either yell at you, insult you, or push you away, which would be quite harsh. He didn't want to do that to you at all, so he just wished you would stay away. Of course, not all wishes come true, which is why... When he took his first step towards the school's entrance, he saw you running towards him. He quickly turned the other way around, not wanting to talk to you, because he really knew that he would get so angry. Moyan, I don't want to talk to you right now. Huh? Oh, why? Just because. Please just leave me, okay? But Katsuki, I said just because. I don't want to talk to you, okay, Wyatt? Stop being annoying. Me? Annoying? Yes, you're annoying. Now please leave me alone, okay? Yeah, I'll leave you alone. You then turned the other way too, walking and getting to the other stairs. This was just embarrassing to you. Nobody was there, you knew that, but still, you never wanted to get insulted like this. Oh god, it was just embarrassing, very. Why and I, I'm sorry, I was just really mad today, that's why I told you to stay away. Yeah, I know, I get you. I was supposed to stay away in the first place, I'm sorry. Yeah, so you aren't mad? No, I'm not, don't worry. Okay. Do you want to go on a date today? Yeah, I would love to. I want to make it up to you. <laughs> Let's go then. Taruki Shoto Taruki never insulted you in his life, knowing that when he got insulted, hit, or punished in any way, he was always so sad. He didn't want you to be as sad as he was. He wanted you to be happy, safe, and protected in his arms. So... Insulting you. He never thought of that before. And he thought that he never would. But today, looks like his mind had other plans. Wyatt, do you think you can get him to go to that party? I'm not sure. I think he would get mad. Come on. Just do it for us. Alright, just for you. But if he doesn't agree, then... Then it's okay, yeah? Yeah. But try. Please try. Yeah, I will. Hey, Shoto, do you think you can go to the party with me this Friday? Uh, Moyan, you know I don't like parties. Yeah, but I, you know, my friends told me to convince you. Please come. Moyan, please, I don't like parties. Please understand that. But, but Shoto, I'll be there with you, I promise. Moyan, please understand me. I really, really don't like parties. Please. But, come on. Just this one time. I promise you I won't be letting you go into other parties again. Please. Why, can you stop being annoying? You know I don't like going to parties. Still, you're just trying to convince me to go. I don't like going. Please just understand that. Yeah, I'll stop being annoying. I'm sorry. I'll tell them you, you don't want to come. 
You then quickly got out of the room before he even realizes what you had said. God, I'm stupid. I really shouldn't have said that. I apologize right away. I promise, Ryan. Hey, so what did he say? He said no. Then why are you so sad? I thought you already knew that he was going to say no. No, it's not that. He called me annoying. What? That bitch. I promise I'm going to teach him a lesson. No, 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 don't. I did nag at him a lot. I kept telling him and he told me that he didn't want to go multiple times. But still. But Ryan, he shouldn't have called you that. He's your boyfriend, for God's sake. He should have been better. Yeah, I know, I know. It's okay. <sighs> it's... Uh, it was my fault anyway. Don't worry about it. Friday came pretty quickly. And then when you went there, you saw Tadrik already studying. Shoto? What are you doing here? You didn't talk to him since that day. I came here just for you. I'm really sorry. Okay? I really didn't want to do this. I... Why are you here then? You said you didn't want to come. I came here just for you, you know. Because I wanted to apologize. I'm really sorry. Really. <sighs> You're such a soft guy. I really love you, Shoto. Let's go outside, okay? Didn't you come here to enjoy the party? Yeah, but now that you're here, we don't have to. We could just go on a date. Go to the arcade or something. We could do something fun. But with you instead. If you're just gonna sit here, I know you're not gonna have fun. I could have fun here, but I could also have fun somewhere with you. It would be way better. You're sure? Yeah, I'm sure. So, let's go? I guess. If you're really sure about it. I swear I'm sure. Let's go. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked the video. Actually, these situations weren't so bad, I think. I mean, I would rather get called an annoying bitch other than get hit by them. Right? Am I the only one? I don't think so, right? So, yeah. Today was a lot. Today was a very hard day, even though I didn't do anything. Though, every day I'm going to go to the club for two days. For two days, every day, okay. For two hours every day, it's going to be so cool, right? So, anyway, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye, love you all so much, take care.